So today we have a pinup makeup tutorial, clearly. This has been super highly requested. You can wear this for Halloween or if you just wanna rock the pinup look on the daily, whatever floats your boat. Most of the products that I used are from Glambot. You guys have heard me talk about this company before. I'm obsessed with them. You can buy or sell used makeup. They have this super intense sanitation process, so if you're a germaphobe, don't worry about it. You can get super discounted high-end makeup if you're a limited edition MAC person. I literally check back on their website every day because there's new stuff and it's amazing. I'll have a coupon and link down below, so make sure you check out the down bar. I don't have a hair tutorial for this because hair is not my thing. I burned myself three times while trying to do this. I basically just did a normal bun and then did this curl thing which took me literally 25 attempts. I hate hair. Again, apologies that this took forever to get up. Life has been kind of crazy. If you want to see how I did this pinup look, this is a Shadow and Shmoo style video, so I talked through everything. Let's do it. All right, so I've already primed my face with Benefit Professional. I'm gonna use the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is just a really great, long-lasting, pretty matte foundation, and I'm gonna mix in some of the Smashbox Artificial Light. This is from Glambot. I love how they put the seal on here so you know that it's been as sanitized as it can get. I've never used this product. I kinda wanna see if it's more of a, it looks like it's more of a mix-in kind of product. So I'm going to go ahead and mix in some of the Revlon on the back of my hand. This is the first thing I'm saying all morning, so that's why I sound half asleep. Does anyone else hate when you do this and your arm is like flapping all over the place? So to apply this, I'm just going to be using my Real Technique sponge. I love this thing. I usually use this when I want more of a dewy look. Definitely burnt my forehead as I was trying to curl my hair. So I need to cover that up. So for concealers, I'm going to be mixing these two products. You don't know how many times I just tried to say that. Smashbox concealer is super creamy and blends out super easily. You definitely want to make sure you set it with a powder though so it doesn't crease. Set the under eyes. Like always, I'm using my Physicians Formula Translucent Light Setting Powder. This is just light enough for my skin. And my favorite way to apply this is with an e.l.f. powder brush. I just feel like I don't know, just gets the job done. My brush smells like chocolate from the cocoa powder foundation. I actually don't think it really smells like chocolate. I feel like it's more like marshmallows. I'm just going to be putting a little bit of the Too Faced cocoa powder foundation on top just to set everything. I do have a whole review video on this stuff. I'm obsessed with it. So then for blush, we're going into the Glam Bot bag. How freaking cute is this packaging? So here's the blush we're going to be using. Actually, should we contour? I'm going to be doing a little contour with Max Taupe Blush. This is just a matte blush that's good for fair skin. I like how all my roommates are still sleeping right now and I'm just chilling in pin up makeup. Alright, now we have some cheekbones. To apply it, I'm using my truck. I'm using my favorite It Cosmetics blush brush. This actually is a foundation brush, but I love it for applying blush. Ooh, this stuff is pigmented. I'm going to go back in with my powder brush and blend everything out. I want it a little more bright and highlighted under the eyes, so I'm going to go in with Manic Panic's White Pressed Powder. I don't use this stuff too often because it is literally white, but if I want a little more highlight under the eyes, this is a good, good option. I feel more awake already. So for this look, we're going to be using the Brow Bar To Go, just the wax from here, and I just like to use the brush that it comes with. I just go in with the wax product and then create the shape that we are going to do. So I mentioned this in my September Raves and Rejects video, but I've been really liking using Blackout from the Naked 2 palette for my brows. It's literally just a matte black eyeshadow. Obviously, if you don't have black hair, you'll want to adjust accordingly. Zoomed you guys in a bit for the eyes. What is this hair doing? So to prime the eyes, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Waterproof Eye Primer. Haven't tested the waterproof claim yet, but I do like it as an eye primer. It kind of sucks because this pump gets like stuck, so you don't want to get too much out on your finger. So I'm just going to apply this everywhere that we are applying eyeshadow. I have such issues using my left hand. How cool would that be if you were ambidextrous? So for this entire look, I'm going to try and use this Smashbox palette from Glambot. This is the Limitless Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. I think these are super neutral, which is what I'm going for and I think they're matte, fingers crossed. So it looks like some of these are shimmery and some are matte. I'm gonna be using these two matte shades and then for the lid and crease, we're gonna use some other matte colors. Since we want a major wing, I'm gonna tape off my eyes and I'm just gonna stick it on the back of my hand first to take away some of the stick. 
If you wanted to, you could do your eyeshadow before the foundation. That just never goes well for me. So I'm going to be taking the It's Judy's Time palette with the Sigma E40 Fluffy Blending Brush. I'll be going in with this matte shade right here, putting this all in the crease. I feel like I can't move when I have tape on my eyeballs. The eyeshadow is going to be pretty simple. It's really going to be all about the liner and the lips. Once we have our crease color on there, nice and blended, I'm going to go in with the lightest shade in the Smashbox palette. I think I'm just going to use my finger and just pop this on the lid. I'm going to take the lightest shade in the Ace Judy's Time palette and put this under the brow bone. Okay, so then with this e.l.f. little tiny brush, I don't even know what this is called. I'm using the dark brown shade in here just to find the crease a little bit. And as you're doing this, you can kind of blend it upwards into that crease color. If you have hooded lids like I do, you might want to draw this a little bit higher than your actual crease. Go back in with the E40 brush and just blend. It's funny because you guys see like five minutes, but this we literally sit here for like an hour. Or I do at least. I'm popping some of that white powder just in the very center to make my eyes look bigger. For eyeliner, I think I'm just going to use my Physicians Formula Eye Booster first and then go over it with some black gel liner if we think I need it. So I'm just going to follow the line of this tape so when we pull it away we're going to have a super nice crispy wing. Because the goal is to make our eyes look really big with this wing, I'm not going to come in too far. I'm just going to mainly focus the wing on the outer third. It's okay if this is messy because we're just going to pull away that tape. You guys ready? You can go in and fill any of the little lines in. So to help brighten up the eye even more, we're going to go in with this NARS white pencil. This is in the shade Larger Than Life. This is also one of my Glambot purchases. Whoa, this is cool. It twists up from the bottom. I don't think I've ever had an eyeliner like that. Every time. So for lashes, I'm going to be using Barbara by Oh My Lash. If you follow their Instagram, they give out a ton of like free lash coupons and shit, so that's when I got these. I like these because they're short enough and they're pretty, what's the word I'm looking for, bold? But then they kind of wisp out. What am I trying to say? Let's just not say it. I'm just going to trim these to my eye, apply them, and I will be right back. So I've got my falsies on, put on some top mascara and some bottom mascara. I feel like we need a little more going on in the inner corner. I'm going to use MAC Vanilla Pigment. This is just a little sample jar of it. NYX also makes a really good shiny white pigment. I can't remember the name of it, but it's just their like pearl white color. Actually, it might be called pearl. I'm just going to pop this on the inner corner. I'm also going to put this on my Cupid's bow. And then a tiny bit down the bridge of my nose. I'm going to add a quick highlight. I'm just using Mary Luminizer by the Bomb. You could also use the MAC Vanilla Pigment on your cheekbone. So for lips, I'm going to be using two of the ColourPop lip products. I did a whole first impression and try on video of these, which I will link over here if you haven't seen it yet. I'm obsessed with these reds. So I'm starting out with Bitch at Liner. This is just a matte, matte red liner. I don't really like to overdraw my top lip too much, but I do a little bit on the bottom. Hell yeah. So I'm going to go in with Bidget, the lipstick version. Struggle is real. This is how you apply lipstick with a lip ring, if anyone's wondering. Alright, so this is the final look. I think I like it. What do you guys think? If you recreate this and wear it on Halloween or wherever, make sure you tag me on Instagram or Twitter. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.